He's uh, he's actually the first wide receiver I watched, I think, in like December. And uh, he was the one I just I fell in love with right away because I saw a guy he was, you know, obviously a hard worker. You know, he had a, a big sophomore year, uh, junior year was looking like he was probably going to declare. Then he ended up tearing his ACL in, in practice in 2019. So he had to go back. But uh, he was a guy that came back uh, nine months after tearing his ACL. And he had to train by himself at home because of COVID restrictions. So a guy that's going to bust his ass like that to be back on the field and then seemingly almost not even miss a beat for his senior year in, in 2020. And he was just back to, you know, doing the same old things where he's, you know, making those combat catches where their guys draped all over him. And, and you know, it looks like why is a quarterback throwing the ball this way? And then you see here where he has the yards after catch. And he's going to throw a mean stiff arm coming up right now. And he's just going to throw this dude right out of here. So, you know, he's he's my guy. He's only 5'11", but he does not know that. He In his head, he's 6'3". So um, he, he's a guy that I just – I love, man. And and a lot of guys, they, you know, they, they want to get on his injury history. But the ACL, that's the only injury that he's had at, at OSU. And, you know, not to say uh, ACL is, you know, something you just like, all right, whatever. No, it's, you know, it's something that you have to note because it did happen. But this isn't a guy that's always injured or, you know, you, you have to monitor. Like, you, like say, a uh, guy I bring up is Jalen Phillips, a guy who's had multiple injuries over and over and over again. So uh, he, he's not that guy. But uh, I think whoever gets him, they're going to get a dude who can, you know, really – scare defenses over the top. He could play multiple positions, in my opinion, although he didn't do it at OSU. Um, I yeah, feel they like played they, him at the same position. Yep. Yeah, they Most just the threw time. him out to the right side, which is what they do because they did the same thing with uh, yeah. with Washington uh, the year he came out. So uh, they didn't do him any any favors by just throwing him on the outside and say, here, just win one-on-one -on -one right there. Um, I think, he I think that last – that yeah, that last play that I showed was a, a perfect <laughs> example of something I love. <laughs> Um, you don't love like there's a lot of receivers who 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 mess around going east and west too much. He's somebody who who grabs the ball and is is looking north. He's looking upfield all the time. Yeah. Those those are the yak guys that you love to see. Um, I think it's another play we could run right here. But but yeah, he has he has interesting. It's an interesting profile. Um, because he's a he's a super silky route runner. Um, he's he's pretty good at creating separation. And I think another another one of the things that he really does is contortion in the air. You know, um, his his understanding of where he's at on the field has been awesome. I think that's another thing. We're just talking about IQ. Right here, you can tell he knows he's by the sidelines. And it takes a different, like, just knowing the geometry of the field. When we talk it like wide receiver acumen, this, these are these are things that, that come um, come come to play right here. It's another play right here. I, I titled it Willie Mays because we're talking about the, diff the, the degree of difficulty on this throw, you know, I mean, on this catch. You know that's this this it's 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 harder than it looks. It looks pretty easy on the on the replay, but you know what I'm saying to make that grab over your shoulder. Um, I think we got another look at it right here. But yeah, Tyler Ty Wallace is is super interesting. So Chris, where do you think he'll end up going in, in the actual draft? Um, I think he'll go like in the second, late second, maybe early third. But um, yeah, I think he'll go there just because he doesn't have the desired measurables that you would want. Uh, he he's not a tall guy. He's not a long guy. He he doesn't have the, you know, the time four three speed. But uh, if you know, another shout out to the Matt Waldman RSP. If you read up on him in there, he, you know, Matt Waldman says he was one of the top three fastest wide receivers as far as the GPS tracking is concerned. So you could run a four three, you could do all of that on in the combine or your pro day. But I want to know how fast you are on the field, and he was one of the top three fastest on the field. 